Orla. As has already been addressed here at uh, Sinn Féin, we will be supporting this motion. As you know, we rejected the Act after our proposals in housing, for example, were rejected and a capital injection could be used for banking. <clears throat> the most over-injected, over-indulged, perennially pampered sector in the state, the one that still pays no tax either. But given that we are dealing with a full-blown and unprecedented public health emergency, we need to make sure our hospitals and other public services are well, as well funded as possible. We could all see the crisis in our hospitals. <clears throat> in Nace General Hospital, our healthcare workers are out on their feet, but they still keep going. Um, I had a question there, a reply from the HSE. There's over 100 vacancies in Nace General Hospital. And um, to be perfectly honest with you, talking to the nurses that I'm talking to, the only thing that's keeping our doctors, nurses and healthcare workers going uh, at the moment is the solidarity with each other. So when it comes to the rainy day fund, you know, we absolutely agree that it's already buckling down. When it comes to housing, childcare, our carers, ventilation in our schools, supporting people through just transitioning the climate crisis, the monsoon arrived a long time ago. There's a huge amount of work to be done so we do not create a divide in the climate haves and the have-nots. I know the Minister for Finance took umbrage here at the mention of language undermining democracy, but I can tell you if we allow this inequality to take hold, you know, there's a real danger to our social cohesion. Uh, people cannot be excluded from transitioning well and comfortably simply due to money. Back to housing, however, um, instead of looking after the vultures and the planning punitive roadshows, um, to entice more of them, we should be looking after their prey, and that is the workers in this state who are despairing of ever putting an affordable home around them, be it to rent or to buy. Um, with all this talk about biodiversity, the vulture is in no fear of extinction in this country. When the vultures are allowed a clean sweep, the biodiversity of ordinary people trying to buy houses just has collapsed. This is a biodiversity and habitats disaster unlikely to be addressed by Minister Ryan at the COP26, but it's very true all the same. I'm equally concerned about our carers who have suffered hugely throughout the pandemic and for whom we in this party have a clear path to recognise and to assist. I'm all for pupils, teachers and the wider school staff. The state has already signed up to the EU Buildings Directive that would vastly improve ventilation in our schools for health and safety reasons. And it is beyond me, Minister, that we are not using these funds to fast forward funding for this desperately needed uh, design investment um, because COVID, you know, we, it might be just a rainy day, it could be a very rainy season. Perhaps this is because through diversion, the funds are just not there for what is essential for the people as opposed to essential for the government and its preferred projects and sectors. So essentially this rainy day fund is not just about money, but it's about priorities for that money and how that money is spent. So that is the difference between the government over here and us over here. Priorities and choices, and I hope you'll be making some of the right choices, Minister.